Mm, good morning, Survivor Gang. <clears throat> it's your girl, I'm just Lynetta William, and I'm back with another video. Just want to give y'all an update on day two. I did not record day one yesterday because I don't know what's going on with my throat. I think it's because, you know, <clears throat> when you have surgery or any type of, I guess, major procedure, they put that tube, that breathing tube down your throat. So my throat been a little scratchy the past couple of days. But um, day one was bad. Day one was really bad. I'm constipated, so I've taken some Miralax to see where they help me go. They said if I haven't went by Monday to just go ahead and take a laxative. But, and I have to eat small portions every four hours because I have to take my pain medicine. And I'm a person that really don't even like pain medicine. But I've been having to take it. Um, actually, I noticed that I'm going longer though without taking it. So, I can tell the pain is getting better. Y'all don't worry about my hair. It's still in them little so-called twists. But I'm finna, um, I've been getting up walking around and stuff. And I'm finna go and um, get me a water. I just ate me a little bowl of um, oh, excuse me, hamburger helper. If y'all still eat that, tell me down below and let me know what kind you eat. You know, I still got small kids, so they still love stuff like that. And my mom cooked some uh, Saturday night. Might have been Friday night, but didn't nobody really eat none but me that night to take my medicine. And um, so I ate some a little bit this morning, but it's gone now. I guess the kids have been eating off of it, you know, little by little. But, like I said, I'm finna get up. Yesterday, y'all, I was so nauseated. My daughter called me, I called her back. I was so nauseated, I threw up like three or four times. But let me tell you why I got nauseated, because I had, with my second dose of medicine, I only ate some fruit like watermelon and that didn't cut it man when i tell you i was sick everything i ate i threw it up so when i finally got over that sick feeling i ate me some um what did i eat last night oh some chicken noodle soup and i kind of let that settle up my stomach and then i um took my pain medicine so that seems to work if I eat a little bit first and then wait a couple of minutes in between before I take the medicine. So that's how they're doing it. So I just ate the little hamburger helper. I'm going to get rid of it. Take my medicine in a minute. I got me water in the freezer. I would get up and let y'all go with me to get it, but it's still kind of painful to get up. So that's how day two was. And this is day three. I'm a little bit better pain-wise. I can tell it. I can walk faster. And it's going to take y'all along the way to the whole recovery. He told me not to drive for 24 hours. However, I'm going to wait longer than that because I'm real sore. I'm just real sore. Anytime you do an abdomen surgery or anything of your abdomen, you're going to be sore anyway. And so um, that's where I'm at. Y'all just keep your girl in prayer. I'll be back up in no time. I know the man up above got me. And we're going to get through this. All right. Y'all stay tuned. Subscribe for more updates. Um, I do have a procedure coming up on the 20th. But I want to know if I'm going to be able to do it. So I'm going to call Monday and see. Since I just had this surgery, I don't know if they want to do the colonoscopy. Just trying to get myself in the best of health and make sure everything okay. Because, you know, you got to stay up on top of everything. Especially when you get on up in age. I'm 48 years old, so it's a five-minute video. 
y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more daily updates on my hernia repair. Alrighty. Bye, y'all.